This is nuts and bolts speed training with your keyboard shortcuts for finding, replacing, and the repeat find command, which are useful when you're searching for or trying to replace specific text strings within your presentations. And one of the keys to speed here is recognizing that the entire dialog box for these shortcuts is also keyboard driven. And here in PowerPoint, if I want to find a specific text string within my presentation, I can hit Control F on my keyboard to open up the Find dialog box. I'm going to type a text string. I'm just going to type Find, hit Enter. And you can see PowerPoint finds the first instance of that text string either here on the slide or somewhere within my presentation. Now, it's important to note that you have a couple of options within this Find dialog box and that the entire dialog box is actually keyboard driven. It's all of those underlined letters within the words. So for example, match case, I can hit Alt C on my keyboard to select match case, which will take into account the capitalization within my words. I can hit Alt C again to unselect it from my keyboard. You have Alt W for find whole words only, which will only find whole instances of your text string. It won't find the instance of your text string within a longer word. I'll hit Alt W to unselect it. And you also have Alt M for match half full with forms, which is for East Asian languages. So I'll hit Alt M again to unselect it. Now to find the next instance of your word, you can either hit enter or alt F and you can see PowerPoint finds the next instance of my text string, which is fine up there in my title. Now you also have the option to replace words that you find. So if you hit alt R on your keyboard, you open up the replace dialog box, but you also have another way to get here. So if I hit escape to close this dialog box, and if you're working in PowerPoint and you know that you want to find and replace, you can simply hit control H on your keyboard to open up the find and replace dialog box. This again is keyboard driven. So to jump into the replace with input box, I can hit alt P on my keyboard to jump in here. I'm going to type repeat and I'm going to then hit alt R to replace, which you can see up there in my title, the find was replaced with the word repeat. Now to find the next instance to continue working through my presentation, I can hit alt F on my keyboard to jump to the next instance. And you can see I'm down there in the blue title rectangle there on my slide. After you've found the word that you're searching for, at any time you can hit escape to close out the dialog box, which will allow you to continue working within your presentation. Now, after you've found a word that you're searching for and you've come in and you've changed your presentation, maybe I changed this to 120% and you want to find the next instance of the word that you previously searched for, you can hit shift F4 on your keyboard, which will jump to the next instance of that text string within your presentation. Here I'm now on slide number four. I can continue working. These are all more or less duplicate slides and I can hit shift F4 again and continue hitting shift F4 and you can see that PowerPoint crawls through my presentation, jumping me to that next instance. Now you can't replace using a shift plus keyboard shortcut, but you can use the shift F4 to find the next instance and you can always hit control H to launch that find and replace dialog box again. So that's how to use the find, replace, and repeat find command to quickly find and or find and replace specific text strings within your presentation. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.